um, just set up a media call, Inspire Media. Young people producing valuable content because the mainstream media don't do that. Yeah. yeah so we're trying to recreate what YouTubers have done through vlogging yeah, 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 across yeah. the rest of the media industry. So. He came through art room. Oh, you know, you know Aaron? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's known as my makeup artist. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're we're moving into it, that's going to be our studio. We've known Aaron since he was like this big. Tiny. Yeah, he used to come on shows with us oh. and then when he was younger. Oh. Good dude, man. Really oh. good dude. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've just started a media company, we're moving in there. It's called Inspire Media. Yeah. It's about providing inspirational content back to young people. Oh, right. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to say your names, who you are, yeah. what you do. So it's Inspire Media, yeah? yeah. Right. Yeah, this is Romeo. I'm down at the Shard Fest and yeah, we're here to perform So Solid. I'm Lisa Mafia and thanks for having us Inspire. <laughs> twin MCs, Twin 1, Twin 2, passing through. Dan the man, here at Shard Fest. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How are you guys finding the event today? It's really good. It's, it's you know what, it's such a big space. Everyone's really spread out. We're hoping when we get on, we bring everyone to the front. That's usually what happens. Yeah. So we're going to determine to make that happen. I, think everyone's great for you guys. I really yeah. hope so. <laughs> Um, so yeah, well, what's, what's happening with So Solid at the moment? We're still very active, like we do not stop gigging week in, week out, year in, year out. We do not stop, we still do all the party islands, IV from New York, Dubai, we're even heading to Australia this year, so yeah, things are, things are pretty good. I'm from Bangladesh. Hey, hopefully, you know what, tell your people, to tell my people to get me there. I'll get my dad. Yes! yes. Yeah, that's See, that's the ticket. We're in, we're in, we're coming! <laughs> we're coming back with this. Um, so, like, you guys are obviously successful. What do you guys say to the young person who's watching the video? They want to get to where you guys are. They want to be performing around the world. What advice do you have? That it is not easy. You need to graph just like any other career. It's not like, you know, everyone looks at it like, you know, the cameras are on, it's all glamorous and all easy going. It really isn't. It's a graft, it's a career, and you have to take it serious. And I say, um, just, yeah, just follow your calling. Like, whatever your calling is, just follow your path in it. Whatever your instincts is, just follow. And I think um, a lot of people strive to get to the main, you know, to be the main person. And sometimes it's about the people behind the scenes, like yourself, like the cameraman, you know. And, um, you know, that's what makes the industry as a whole, you know. If it wasn't for you guys, people like us wouldn't be here right now so don't be afraid to set your crafts into other genres or other areas of you know the music industry and, I think it's also yeah. learning to appreciate the graft and the journey it takes to get become famous yeah. once you've got all the groundwork done it make, make sure you're interacting with your fans appreciate your fans and then and also the, the journey that it gets to the top yeah, yeah. That also like fun. if you find out like you said your corners are what you're good at Continue that and stick on that path. You find something that fits for you, that fits right for you. Stick at it and keep practicing. You eventually bring that to the surface. And it's always good to be original. You know what I mean? Stay original. Yeah. Oh, something different. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to add on that, I would say make sure you got your own little network again. You know what I mean? Got to have your network. That's what they call fan base now, but technically it's a network, isn't it? Just get your network build up. Get your followers going on. Keep them happy. Stay on your grind, isn't it? So, yeah. what is, obviously you guys are still performing for, for a very long house. What inspires you to keep doing what you do? The people watching. Yeah. Every single time you hear somebody sing back the lyrics that you sat and wrote in a little room somewhere or a studio on your own and then people will respond and, and sing it back to you, that is the most incredible feeling and something I'm so thankful for. Uh, do you guys have any new music coming out? That's yeah, we've got a few coming. things coming out. Don't want to give away too much, but yeah, we've got a few <laughs> things coming out. You know one thing? <laughs> Garage has come full circle. Ten years it's took to come full circle. It's coming back. And we are, I, I know it's a brilliant trumpet, but we're pioneers of it. We know that yeah. we've done a lot of graft to stay and remain one of the top of many yeah. garage legends. Also, um, look out for Harvey's stuff. Um, obviously Swiss, Mega and Mac as well. Like obviously they're throwing out a lot of stuff in the industry right now, so feel free to check it out. Bro. What do you guys make of where the industry now, like Skepta getting a number one compared to like... It's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. It's amazing yeah. that these are young black British people. It doesn't matter what genre of music they're representing. They're young black British people and it's amazing that they are, they've grafted as long as us and 
still remaining on a platform. Whether or not we've laid, laid a, pa a pavement to, to work off of, we've all contributed and it's, it's so yeah. nice to see it it's still it's keeping, happening. It's keeping the graph, like you said, everybody graph, it's keeping the scene alive and the young scene alive with people coming through with urban music or a different lane of music is bringing something new each time. Whenever someone else makes it through, it's just like, congratulations, you're stuck at something you know, find the lane. Do you know what the worst thing is about Britain? The fans are not loyal. They will move on. So if you're getting respected on the stage and they're still singing your lyrics or you make a new track and they love it, it's, it's heartwarming because they do move on. Trust me. Because there's so much talent in our very small country. Yeah, like I like to say as well, it's like it's crazy how big like for example Grime has got because you look at videos and it's got like 100k, 200k there, and then you actually think about it, that's like a hundred thousand people yeah. have watched that and it's like it's the norm now, like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's, like, I've seen some with millions of yeah, views yeah, as well, yeah. so yeah they're definitely getting out there. And Come I on, look at Kyla. Yeah, Kyla, really are, 14 yeah. weeks, Kyla, she's a British musician. Drake took to the track, he took the track and remixed it. It's now become 14 weeks at number one. That's amazing for us. That's amazing for us as British artists. Now where can people find you on social media? Um, at Romeo London. And, and Lisa on Mafia UK on every platform. At Twitter MCs, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. At Thunderman So Solid, everything. And check it out. That's it. Check it out. Find out clothing. You know it's crazy. I remember when since you went away it came out, and I never thought I'd ever get to meet you guys. So Thank it's you. crazy. I know you love yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. They tried it the same back up in Coliseum. You remember the day, but now we're on a pursuit. For more peas than the perpetrators perpetrating the people's pockets up in the parliament daily. You get it? From the step to the game, in all the name, man, it's nothing but. So, 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 so.